Hey everybody, it's Prince's friend. This is part two of the kind of Jay-Z controversy discussion that's kind of going on here. I posted a video yesterday kind of with my initial reactions to it, but I wanted to have a part two here to kind of address some of the backlash that Jay-Z is getting. Not from everywhere because Jay-Z has a lot of fans and people love him. Uh, but he's also got a lot of people who don't love him and don't like what he's doing here. The biggest one that I keep seeing, um, not only in my comments, but pretty much everywhere, is, well, Jay-Z is just doing it for the publicity. And yes, it's obvious that in today's climate, if Jay-Z puts Prince in a song, it's going to get people's eyes, it's going to get people to pay attention, and all of that, right? But to think that that's the only thing that is making it so that he puts Prince in a song, or he's talking about his relationship with Prince in a song, um, I think that's a little naive. I think that's almost looking for the negative in it. Whereas, look, he had a relationship with Prince. Um, we don't all know exactly, you know, what that was, but, but he's telling his side of the story. He's saying, what he feels, and I think that that's okay. Now let me go ahead and state for the record that Jay-Z is not really one of my favorite rappers. I've listened to a few of his tracks, he's okay. He's never really had the right flow for me, but that doesn't mean that I don't respect him as a businessman and as a person. I mean, he's, he's a person. Another complaint that I saw was, well, why is he talking about all this stuff on, uh, on in his music? And to that, I think it's really just people maybe not understanding the tradition of what a diss track is. What rappers do is they talk about what's going on in their lives. And if they feel passionately about something, then they talk about it and they rap about it. And sometimes that does involve feuds that they have with other musicians or with people outside of the musicians. Um, I mean, it doesn't even have to just be rap. Prince never pointed out anybody that he had beef with directly, but he did a lot of kind of shady stuff. Uh, and we've talked about it before with, you know, taking the oak tree and chopping down to make a wooden leg. And that's total, you know, shade on Morris Day. He wrote Shockadelica as a song kind of to overshadow the Shockadelica album from Jesse Johnson that had come out. So he did stuff, he just didn't come out and, and outright say it, but he definitely used his music to forward beefs and to do stuff like that. You just have to kind of be able to read between the lines. Michael Jackson had a song called DS that was all about a specific person who he felt was after him uh, on the whole legal front uh, there. So that was a whole other thing. But there's lots of feuds between, you know, different rappers, and that's just part of the musical experience there. So for me, uh, Jay-Z mentioning uh, a, a person by name, it's not new. It's not new at all, and they do it all the time. Again, it's part of their artistic expression, and I think that there's no reason to criticize somebody for doing it. Now, he might be wrong. He might, uh, his entire idea of what Londell McMillan is doing on the legal fronts and all that stuff, it might be completely wrong, but this is his side of the story. And as we all know, there's one side of the story, there's the other side of the story, and somewhere in the middle is the truth. So I think we really all need to kind of take a step back. This is an artist who is telling a part of his story and that is actually one of the amazing things about hip hop. And of course, now I'm gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about Casey Rain again now. Uh, there was another whole article that was written beyond the little snippet that I used in the last video. And uh, apparently, because Casey Rain did a whole blog post that got some traction. He wrote a bunch of different things about how Jay-Z posted some bootlegs on Tidal after Prince died, and that was why he was being sued. Uh, I haven't looked too deep into it, but if that's true, Jay-Z, you're wrong. If it's not true, then the estate's wrong. I mean, it's pretty cut and dry, but I don't know all of the facts. He also noted that Jay-Z offered a measly amount for the rights to Prince's vault and to publish the songs there. And I think that there is a difference. I think the number that he had offered was 30 million. I don't think that that's a measly amount. Uh, if we take 
the whole of Prince's estate and everything, it's estimated to be between 200 million and 300 million in all. Um, I'm sure they're raking it in with opening up Paisley Park as a museum at this point, so I'm sure they're able to pay off the tax man a little bit off of just that alone, not to mention the new deals that they've made with Warner Brothers and, and selling the new Purple Rain Deluxe. Um, and I think they're probably right now probably getting into uh, a position where they're going to be financially stable for a while. But of course, his offer was a while ago. It was like six to seven months ago. So at that point, maybe they weren't so secure. Maybe that's why they turned it down. But to say that the offer was a bad offer, um, you know, 200 million, that's everything that Prince owned. And that's his homes and his cars and like everything, his clothes, ev everything, um, his stocks and his charities. And, you know, so 30 million for the songs in the vault, I think is actually a pretty good amount. And that's just... Um, the amount that he would be paying in order to publish them, that's not even saying that the estate still wouldn't get a cut of whatever happened. I'd have to actually read the actual offer, but it just seems a little harsh to just say, you know, like, how much was he supposed to offer, <laughs> you know? It just seems crazy. And again, nobody knows, but I feel like there has to be a reason why Prince decided to go with Tidal after pulling all of his music from everything else. And I'm sure that the the estate wants to have as many ways to make money as possible so that they can keep the estate running and all of that stuff. And I think that that's fine. You know, I think I talked about it a little bit in the last video that, you know, the streaming stuff, I, I think it's okay. But there has to be something to the agreement that Prince had with Jay-Z where I think that we have to take what Jay-Z says a little bit more seriously than just your common rapper who decided to say the name Prince on an album. But what do you guys think? We'll continue the discussion in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, check out the Patreon, and may you live to see the dawn.